Multigreen, building attainable, sustainable, and tech-enabled multifamily real estate through impact investing. Welcome to the Multigreen Podcast. I'm your host, Randy Norton, and this segment will be focused on why tech enablement matters. So let's get into the bits and the bytes. On the supply side, housing inventory is aging. The median age of owner-occupied housing is 37 years old, meaning the housing stock is getting older on average due to the lack of new supply coming into the market. This also means that when you look at the mean, many homes are old, functionally obsolete, and exceeding 80 years old. The rate of construction of new homes is also slowing, leaving housing stock static. Only 19% of owner-occupied homes in the U.S. were built after 2000, with the majority, about 53%, built before 1980. On the demand side, consumer behavior is shifting rapidly. Since 1970, the median age of a first marriage in the United States has risen from 23 to 29 for men and from 21 to 27 for women. My children, Edison and Talani, are you listening? There has been corresponding rise in how long people will rent before first buying a home. For example, right now, it is six years on average, up from two and a half years in the 1970s. Therefore, first-time buyers are older and wiser, and people are living at home longer or renting longer prior to home ownership. Here is some interesting information. Rent burden is increasingly affecting young people. If tech innovation typically happens with young people first, and young people's single biggest expense is rent, then the residential rental space is potentially the mother of all markets. There is a large supply of aging single-family homes, purpose-built for married households, and yet there is a large and fast-growing demand for different living accommodations. This creates an opportunity for a new wave of service providers to come in and repurpose the existing supply and add in additional technology services to meet the new demand. We are facing a major demand on housing based on the undeniable mega trends in global population growth. The world's urban areas alone are increasing by 200,000 people per day, all of whom need affordable housing. To rise to this challenge, the construction and development industries must transform themselves. The barriers to accomplish this are current costs of local construction and the lack of eco-efficiency in building materials and supply chains. The construction industry has lagged every other sector of the economy over the last 50 years, specifically in accepting technological change and boosting productivity. Multigreen is embracing and advocating for the use of many emerging technologies and techniques that have immediate promise to transform building projects. Our mission is to reduce costs and waste, improve the working environment of the building trades, and deliver clean, affordable, and tech-enabled living spaces. Some strategies that Multigreen uses for technology include an integrated approach to design, which optimizes materials used and materials selected, which will promote a circular economy, and on-site waste management planning. There is a rise of technological trends that are showing a huge promise to change the industry landscape and get it ready for the fourth industrial revolution. Multigreen utilizes many technologies to enhance affordability for tenants. Some of them include prefabrication, steel frames with embedded mechanical systems, connected devices and digital twins, sustainable construction techniques, material selection, and more. A partial list of the technologies that Multigreen utilizes include prefabrication and panelized steel with embedded mechanical systems. And this is an off-site assembly for building components, which brings many benefits compared with the traditional approach of building a structure from zero at the project site. Connected devices and digital twins, using sensors to monitor a building and manage it more effectively, as well as the use of building information modeling, is really nothing new. However, when coupling the Internet of Things and bringing connectivity to all types of devices, it is new. In the case of construction, this includes machinery, equipment, tools, and wearable technologies by construction personnel. Sustainable construction techniques. 
Optimized energy efficiency and a drive for low to zero carbon emissions have driven innovation in building construction and service design for years. Innovations like this make multi-green properties more affordable to operate at the property level and for individual tenants while reducing the overall impact on the environment. Material selection. Multi-green seeks to promote a circular economy by reusing materials and components and specifying materials with recycled content. The multi-green occupant experience will be transformed from generic and static to responsive and personalized. When you walk into your home, the lighting and temperature will be automatic and your Spotify playlist will launch. The smart building will eventually become the empathetic building. Digitally connected environments will allow landlords to understand real-time occupancy, vacancy rates, energy consumption, and know with certainty which amenities are utilized. Multifamily housing offers the potential to serve as a gateway for a wide range of consumer services, ushering in a new era of value-added physical and digital amenities delivered to tenants. Besides being convenient, devices that allow property managers or tenants to carefully control heat, air, and other energy-consuming appliances will translate to meaningful savings in utility costs. Tenants no longer perceive a building as purely bricks and mortar. Instead, many building occupiers are searching for strong connectivity and added amenities, such as tech-enabled solutions for support productivity and employee well-being. Intelligent building platforms will read thousands of data points every minute from sensors all over the building, We can apply these analytics and machine learning to that data. Despite real estate being by far the largest asset class in the world, most business categories surrounding it are still in the early stages of tech adoption. There have been more billion dollar real estate tech companies founded in the last 15 years than almost any consumer service category. All of this tech enablement begins and ends with BIM, Building Information Modeling. It is the tool for future-proofing design now and for the future. By way of example, the UK has been particularly active in promoting the use of BIM technology. In fact, in 2016, it became a requirement in that all UK construction projects funded by central government had to be delivered using BIM technology. Other countries have followed and all GSA buildings here in the United States require BIM with COBE standards. Multigreen has a durable competitive advantage in all things BIM and tech. I often say at Multigreen, we are technologists first and finance professionals second. We are the technologized investor. We have weaponized with BIM and digital twins. The first podcast in this segment will be with Professor Ibrahim O'Day, the founding director of the Global Leaders in Construction Management within the Department of Engineering at Columbia University. Recently, Ibrahim joined the World Economic Forum as an official industry expert. Later on in this segment, we will speak with other technologists who specialize in building information modeling and software automation, and how Multigreen is applying it to projects now under construction. I hope you will remember a few of these bits, bytes, and sound bites. Enjoy this segment on why tech enablement matters. Thank you for listening. Join us as we build 40,000 attainable, sustainable, and tech-enabled multifamily homes by 2030. And if you like the content you're hearing, hit the subscribe button. Follow us at Think Multigreen and sign up to learn more at www.multi.green.